All right, and we're back. So we got a few problems here with these invisible enemies. But we'll get through it. We'll get through it, everybody. Don't you worry. My good friend, the Mr. Axe here, will see to that. Okay, I think he's right in front of me. So we'll try and come at him from the right here. Oh no, he's right there, actually. Oh, jeez. I guess that was me? I don't know, I heard a can get kicked all of a sudden. guessing he can't, uh, not smart enough to duck, I guess. That's okay, that's, that's, this ought to be easier now. Just wait for him to turn around, really. Oh, he ran back, you little punk. Oh, jeez, he just happened to turn around? Good lord. I'm just not having a good time with these guys at all. Thank God for regenerating health for her. Okay, he's right there. Turn around, come on. He's like, oh god, I, I, I missed her, damn it. <laughs> Not this time. Bastard. Okay. Yeah, good. I didn't have to recollect that trophy again. Keep hearing something moving over here. Alright, now we gotta deal with this guy. The door didn't open this time. Huh. Maybe that was a one time creepy environmental tell or something. Hopefully, this guy doesn't come to life. All of the <laughs> slimy noises from his tent, his Cthulhu tendrils, or they sound disgusting. Okay, he's coming in. So I wonder if he backs out. We're gonna try and go around. A lot of the times the AI has a trigger moment where, oh, if you're right there and you're about to sneak up on him, the AI is told that uh, it needs to turn its head to look right at you or something like that. That's what I figure keeps happening. Perfect, perfect. And here we go. Alright, gotcha. Gotcha! <laughs> so, and then, and of course, there's just a, a ground littered in tin cans, more tin cans than are ever in the main campaign. Just so, if I knock one around like that just now, they can hear me coming. Of course, if, if they knock it around, then I can hear them coming, so I guess it's a double edged sword. Hopefully I didn't just uh, trigger a cinematic here, because I did want to check out that other room. Uh, let's see, lockers to hide in. 
no real threat anymore, though, I don't think. This guy's been stabbed in the back. Thought I heard something else. Something else is even more harrowing. Harrowing. Dying. <laughs> they come out from a stem abruptly passing with looks of horror in their eyes. The ones that do survive are catatonic babbling incoherent messes that we can't properly interview we've done nothing to the process to cause this change it must be the ever-growing collective consciousness of the stem system these patients seem unable to take the strain of exposure we need more sane subjects perhaps to cleanse the system at its current state the system is unsustainable something mobius will not approve of this time, only I am to blame for this. Oh wow, it's taken responsibility. Our new prototype and beacon is almost ready. When it is, I will start its conversion to the wireless system. Even if the original STEM experiments go awry, I will show my worth to Mobius with its next generation. Oh, there's a wireless version. <laughs> I guess that's the next logical step from wired to wireless. So, okay, I can't take this knife. Pretty sure I heard something out in the hall. Can't can't really open those unless you hide in them. Let's see what we got going though. Must have just been a residual sound, maybe, or maybe it was the door closing behind me. All these boxes with nothing in them. Damn you. Oh good, a dank dark pit. And it's water, so hopefully it's not waist deep, otherwise I'm not going to be able to run very far. But we'll see what happens. Not that she can run very far anyways. Okay, good. It seems it's only ankle deep. Probably have to crawl through there at some point. Gotta smash this box though first. And a whole lot of nothing came out. Oh, okay. I definitely can't go that way. So, into the tunnel we go. Oh! Damn it. I was hoping not to see her again for a while. <laughs> I was just hanging out in this corner and suddenly decided to turn around, I guess, and look in that tunnel. Can resurrect uh, the bodies. Oh, it turned it into one of those exploding ones. Okay. <laughs> oh, finally. Luckily, that was there. <laughs> Right on. Okay, two shots makes them explode. Uh oh.
Oh crap. Oh no. Oh, it, it immediately went into a quick time, I, or not quick time, a, a in game cinematic there. I couldn't shoot his legs out from under him but before he came up to me and hit me with his axe. What the? How did I miss? Okay. Alright, alright. It'd take a little more time with my shots, I guess. Because it's, it's wildly inaccurate. <laughs> There we go, that's what I was trying to do earlier. I meant to do that. There we go, slows you down. Of course they're up on their feet so fast. Whoa, his body just disappeared, okay. this guy. Mister, I'm gonna run up on people. I appear to have unlimited ammunition. So thank God for that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, thank God, because I had to reload. There we go. Oh, jeez. Reload, reload. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. I'm going for the light. Kind of reminded me of one of those shooting galleries. If Leslie's down here, I doubt he'll last long. I've got to find him. Yeah, exactly. I doubt he'll last long. And of course, I can't use the gun anymore because I'm now I'm out of bullets. Conveniently. Well, thanks for the gun, buddy. Looking for collectibles. Ooh, some kind of growth there. Don't see anything down there. Staircase, okay. Or staircase, ladder. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably where I'm supposed to go, but I think I'm going to stick around here real quick, just to see what I can find. Oh, where'd the ladder go? Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, there's another safe. Okay. Alright, let's see what your deal is. Another, uh, this one's a straight up combination lock. Yeah, I wouldn't even know where to begin, so I imagine I gotta find a clue. So let's go ahead and have a look see, shall we? Nothing here. Okay. I figured it would be up here. No, 
wouldn't be in here. I'm just checking just to make sure. So we got all these entries. I doubt it would be mentioned in there. There's that second one I didn't pick up, so this is uh, number five. Oh, I guess I could start piecing them together any time. I don't have enough pieces for that, though. Huh. I wonder who it's from. Obviously, this goes on a, maybe at one of the corners. Probably shouldn't be messing with that right now. That probably goes in the middle somewhere. I don't know how it's oriented either. It could be sideways. It could be, you know, upside down. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's all my biometrics information. Juvenile offense, destruction of private property. Grand theft. You think I would know how to crack a case if I'm doing some grand theft? It's kind of giving me an insight into what um, the doctor was up to before, uh, up until the events of the the main campaign. Apparently he activates the device uh, without authorization, and that's how we get all sucked into this mess. Just looking for listening for sounds uh, maybe help crack this thing but I don't think that's gonna work well okay let's have a look around we'll look a little more thoroughly this time though I figured it would be on a, a one of the blue barrels there or something like that Just thought I'd give it a try. Let's see, let's see. Nothing on any of these pillars so far. Mm, oh! Ding, ding, ding. Here we are. Wow, okay. Left 14, right 0, left 5. <laughs> that was right there in front of me. Holy crap. I guess I thought it was... I guess that's why the, the gore is there to camouflage it. Uh, okay, left 14. Or right, sorry. All right. Letter scrap five, okay. Well, we got another scrap. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's why I got confused is because all the gore on the walls, it just kind of blended in there until I finally noticed the number. All right, I think we got that down. Anytime there's a safe in the area, you look for clues. Expendable. They have no bearing on the mission. If they get in the way, 
You know what to do. You know what to do. Only I'm not going to do what he wants me to do. Obviously, that's where this is going. Oh, hello, Mr. Kitty. He's got fish or something. <laughs> good for you. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a good time to save. I got a gun now, but it doesn't have any bullets, so I'm still kind of defenseless. We'll pet you for a little bit. Kitty. Just seeing if she does different animations or not. <laughs> Oh yeah, she does have a different animation. Okay. I can sit there all day long, but... <laughs> okay, I just came up, so... Alright, we gotta go through this then. Well, I didn't kill the nurse, or, uh, I don't know what she is, a doctor, I guess? She's wearing a lab coat. Whatever it is. I definitely shot in the, in the light, though, so she definitely hurt. Okay, we got some... Looks like we got some more electrical panels to deal with. Sebastian! Kidman! Oh, of course. <laughs> And it fried, of course. Great. Junction box fuse, okay. So, okay. Looks like it would fit in either three, so... I need to find two more, obviously. Yeah. Let's do this first door, I guess. Okay, can't open anything, and we got a ladder down, so let's uh, let's do that. Pretty sure I heard some enemies, so we're gonna have to take it easy. Oh man. Why would you do that? That's not creepy at all. <laughs> oh great, it's kind of a kind of a maze. Oh Good thing I could make my own tunnel. There's a ladder down that way, but let's uh, see if I can, what happens when I go up it. Don't see anything bad, so ah, uh, another open gate uh, turn uh, style here. That's a big piece of equipment. <laughs> 